our role as a TV buyer traditionally was more about getting the best price, negotiating the CPM, getting the positioning, getting the right programs and all that. And that's still the case, but I, I feel like a, a, a big part of the role has now evolved also into sort of just being educators, you know, and sort of um, uh, uh, obviously subject matter experts, but part of that is is, is um, constantly keeping up with all the changes that are going on, all the new capabilities, all the new players in the space and how they overlap or how they differ from one another. Uh, and really having to dig into the nuances of what those offerings are. So I think the first step really is a is, a, is education um, because it can be really confusing, um, you know, especially when you hear different messages from different sellers in the marketplace and they don't always line up. Um, so sort of cutting through that clutter to try and, and get to what the, the reality of uh, the landscape is, um, you know, and then also, you know, as is always a, a good idea to start is to really understand what their objective is. And so sometimes I think, um, you know, they may be thinking that TV is the solution to, to the, the comms problem that they have when it may not be, you know, given all the other opportunities now, or it may be in a way that they haven't, haven't thought about before. So I think um, it's, it's also, it's, it's those two things. It's making sure everyone really understands what we're talking about, and it's also about really understanding what our objectives are and making sure we're not just doing things, um, you know, based on how we have been doing them for years because um, things are changing and they're changing even faster every day, both from the perspective of, you know, um, just physically and technology-wise, like how is content being delivered to someone's TV screen or whatever screen that they are choosing to consume content on, but also even just um, sort of from the place that, that TV took within uh, a marketer's toolbox, within a media plan, you know, what role it played. I think um, all those things are changing in terms of what we're considering to put into sort of that TV bucket, um, you know, whether that be streaming, whether that be mobile, whether that be um, you know, VOD, you know, there's a lot of sort of um, different ways to get into in front of consumers now, um, but also in terms of what we expect TV to be doing for us. You know, in the past it was always just sort of like the big reach driving, um, you know, piece of a media plan and, and, and it can still do that and I think a lot of marketers that have tried to go away from it have come back pretty quickly because they, they see um, you know what happens when they take that out of the equation but I think sometimes we're we're selling it a little short in terms of um, all the other things it's capable of now because of technology because of the different ways that that content is getting in front of consumers so in terms of how we can target in terms of um, the uh, evolution from you know what was really a, a one-way um, sort of communication to what can now be more of a two-way, whether that's just in terms of data coming back, but also even in terms of interactivity. Um, so I, I think it's it's a really interesting time, you know, and, and it's it's a little scary because we're going from sort of the known and the tried and true to um, you know the new and different, and and there's a lot of potential there, but um, there's also a lot of risk. And part of it is is making sure we're educating ourselves, so making sure we're taking the time. Um, you know, sometimes it can be hard. Uh, with just the volume of work that needs to be done just to, to get things you know on the air out the door or, or you know get campaigns up and running um, to make sure that we're taking the time to meet with all the partners um, to be able to hear their story and, and again be able to sort of line those things up next to each other and make sure we can sort of cut through to to the reality of the situation my background coming from more of a, a traditional TV buying and then evolving into a role of you know overseeing digital teams as well um, for the most part, TV buyers, especially younger TV buyers, are, are more than willing to learn everything they can about, you know, sort of new technologies, new partners, because like I think they all see, even from just a self-preservation point of view, that this is where uh, the industry is going, this is where um, uh, advertising and marketing is going, and to position themselves, you know, in terms of, um, you know, marketing themselves, that, that skill set is going to be necessary. But at the same time, holding on to some of what makes them really valuable with, you know, some of those legacy skill sets. We do, um, you know, have training courses now, you know, really sort of trying to make sure that people understand the one-on-ones behind, whether it be, you know, addressable TV or audience buying or, um, you know, ad ops and just understanding sort of the pipes behind how some of these things work and how that impacts what, what uh, capabilities are. But it's just a constant, um, it's a constant battle to stay to stay on top. You know, I feel like um, you know the nice thing and, and the difficult thing about what's happening these days is that you know it feels like 50% of it changes every year. So it's a lot to keep up with. It also means that um, as long as you're paying attention, you can be pretty on top of things fairly quickly in a way that maybe wasn't the case uh, 10 years ago or 15 years ago.